speciality coffee has to start right at the beginning with the soil, with the trees, with the farm management. I think the thing that really strikes me coming here um, is the level of sort of kind of intellect and innovation that goes into farming. When people think of sustainability, they think of environment. They don't often associate the social and economic. And the social is the strong, the, that's what I've got from the trip, is how people have gone from big, you know, being ashamed, literally ashamed of where they live, hope to being proud and, and healthy. Yeah, which is amazing. And then the amazing. kids are involved. Speaking to all the farmers is all around water. Yes. And improved water. Yes. And how if you're upstream of your neighbour, you want to pass on water that is right. good. Right. And in, in the past it was you wouldn't drink the water downstream of your farm, right. whereas now and it would. Everybody's talking about that. Yeah. Everything started here. Now, everything started with my wife. It's what? Ah, this is a, a one that burns. Burns? Mm -hmm. Really? But it's a baby. Uh, it all started when my father uh, was running the farm. My father was always an environmentalist, uh, so, and because of that he was not even considered a good farmer because he didn't burn, he liked trees, he didn't, he kept as many trees as possible. What is organic farming? I didn't know anything. This was in 82. As uh, our lives evolved, my senses tuned into this subject. I moved to the States and we lived 20 years there. We saw the organic movement growing. In 2001, this farm came to me. I said, we are eating organic at home. How can I just do at the farm, farm, run the farm in a way that I feel is going to poison people? poison the farm. So we will have to go to the other side, from being consumer to being a producer. In the future, we're gonna look back into the last 50, 60 years of agriculture, and we might find that we were in dark era in terms of our food systems and our agriculture. So what we're trying to do is, is come up with an alternative system. And I'm not saying we have all the answers, but we're putting together a, a collective, a farming collective of people. We're trying to produce the best quality we can, as efficiently as we can, and as direct as we can. They like grapes. Really sweet. We are on in this farm planting uh, 22 different types of beans. Wow. Food is one of the uh, the most accessible uh, luxuries that people can have because if you buy an organic bean versus a non-organic bean, you talk about uh, you know one pound difference. And what is one pound when you talk about your health, mm. your health of your children? Walking through those trees and looking at those trees, that's all the, all the same species of tree, planted on exactly the same day, just in different parts of the forest. And that first one that was a little bit out in the open, and it was only about 12 foot tall. The second one, which was planted under a tree, so basically where it would naturally have grown within the rainforest, and it was three times as big. Unless you're in the, your correct environment, you'll never thrive. 
And that's what I believe about people. I believe if you're not like following what you're truly good at and you're actually surrounding yourself in the environment you want to be in, you'll never actually become as strong and as big as you, as you, you could be. We are now, after 19 years of this farm, we did turn, it took us 12 years to do that, dirt back into soil. That was very hard. And now we have trees that are, you know, 15, 19 years old. And the people, and we have many people that already went to college. The kids want to go to college. A lot of teenagers that want to go to the city, now they can see there is opportunity in their land. They can see now they can come back and a lot are coming back. And we have uh, a lot of you know, people around the world, buyers around the world, that wants to come and see this coffee with this story and direct connection with the farmers. You're constantly looking to innovate and try to, you know, think how can we, you know, how can we also create something new? And that's what's exciting about here, you know. The dream of the farmer is to be sure that he's going to sell coffee next year. He needs a partner. Mm -hmm. But also the dream of the new roaster. He needs to have continuity. I mean, you want to bring that, that flavor, that story, that, you know, that, uh, you know, round, you know, total quality concept to your customers. If you want to have a long-term future in farming and produce a quality coffee year after year after year and for generations, you have to go right back to the basics. We need to have a balance and we need to keep nature alive. And then we have nature helping us.